Hello and welcome to WordPress Tutorials. In today's video, I'll show you how to make uh, the Add to Cart button sticky just like this. It's in the bottom. Always, even if you scroll down to the bottom or to the top, this Add to Cart stripe will be always there. And uh, you can see on mobile phone, it's just like this. You can uh, add it to the top or the bottom. Uh, whatever you want even if you change the device to iPhone or iPad or tablet any tablet so uh, you can see that there is a uh, add to cart uh, strip with uh, quantity price and uh, the title and rating so uh, this is a beautiful thing if you want to add it to your website the, uh, there will be a lot more uh, chance to uh, people buy your uh, products uh, by using this trip so for this we will be using a plugin i have this other website and i'll show you how to do it uh, do the same on this site so come to your admin dashboard click on plugins add new now in the search bar type sticky add to cart press enter from the search search for the plugin by uh, one team software and click on install now activate the plugin now scroll down to the plugin here is the sticky product add to cart checkout bar click on settings now here are a few simple steps first of all click on enable sticky product bar you can also make it RTL uh, which means left right uh, right to left contents uh, just like this add to cart will be here and the text will be here but uh, we will leave it LTR, uh, LTL because uh, we want to make our add to cart button here and the text here. So uh, for the out of stock text, it will be out of stock. You can change it, for example, out of stock 2 or out of stock uh, 1 or some uh, custom text. For choose an option, uh, there will be a choose an option text here. You can also change it. Duration of scroll animation, which will be uh, 2 seconds. You can increase it or decrease it. Okay, add viewport, uh, which means that when you scroll to the top, uh, it will not disappear. But uh, if you want to disappear it when you uh, reach to the top, like this, and it will be there. So uh, if you want to make it disappear, you have to check this one. Uh, you can also add custom CSS to your uh, CSS bars to your add to cart bar, and product price selector you can uh, add the product price uh, class for example you have to come here right click inspect element and copy the class of your product for example this is the class you have to copy it and then uh, add it to the product price selector okay product quantity selector you can also uh, do the same for quantity but uh, for this site, I already have quantity and price without uh, adding the selectors because I am uh, using Astra theme and uh, for WooCommerce, it's, it uses all the default selectors for WooCommerce. That is why uh, no need to add selector for this. But in case you have a theme which is using custom classes for uh, quantity and price, then you can uh, add selectors for this. Mm, uh, before you test that, uh, you just have to leave these fields empty and after enabling just uh, save it and run it and check if it comes uh, if it gets all the values of price add to cart button etc okay uh, enable on desktop uh, this is responsive options you can enable or disable it on a desktop mobile phone and you can also choose the location from bottom to top uh, for desktop or bottom for um, desktop and top for mobile enable for products yes enable for cart uh, for the shopping cart pages let me show you what it means 
if we get uh, add to cart for this product and then uh, we click on the view cart button now if you check our cart page by clicking view cart button then you can see for the shopping cart page the button changes to proceed to checkout which is the main action of this page which will redirect you to the checkout page now if you click on proceed to checkout the checkout page will also show the place order for uh, this page because the final uh, button for uh, placing the order or for the checkout page is place order and here is the setting enable on product enable on cart and checkout you can disable for these two but uh, I'll keep all three of them okay enable for out of stock products which means if your product uh, one of your product is out of stock then uh, it will not show that stripe but if you want to enable it on the out of stock products as well uh, and it will say out of stock using this text so click on this and it will be enabled okay always visible it can be easily uh, always visible or on when action button is no longer visible always visible uh, so it will not be hidden on any screen or uh, any scroll position display product image display product name product rating here you can see that uh, we have a display image if we come to our product page we have display image the title rating price quantity and add to cart so in these settings you can enable or disable all these things one by one and all other pr uh, options are in premium version so I will not touch them and scroll down click on save changes and now open the front end and refresh the page as you can see there is no strip for add to cart but uh, when I refresh the page it is there uh, okay my title is um, somewhat um, out of bound so it not uh, appears correctly uh, but if I go to another product with a smaller title because this site is uh, not uh, a normal site and if I come to the normal product then it will show exactly uh, what I aimed and if you see on mobile phone you can see that it's also uh, available here and visible okay, 70 50 and as you can see it's on the top because uh, I chose the top for mobile phone you will choose bottom and click on add viewport which was uh, the option always visible display enable mobile yeah here add viewport and click on save changes and you can see that it's fixed now uh, viewport means that uh, on cell phone it will be like uh, this and for desktop it will show uh, the title and star rating price uh, etc but for mobile phone it will be um, shortened to uh, fit in the mobile screen now all these settings can be uh, checked one by one and you can easily customize uh, this add to cart stripe uh, okay, this was all for today's video. I hope you learned something from this. Please uh, give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to our channel so you won't miss our future updates. Thank you.